welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva, or of course at the ITU headquarters. And I'm joined now by Kriti Sharma, who's the Vice President of Artificial Intelligence at the Sage Foundation. So Kriti, I mean, you're one of the younger members who've come on sat here. Um, why is a young person like yourself here? It's really important for people from all backgrounds, especially young people, to be part of not just consuming AI technology, but building it and creating what our future looks like. And this is why I would love to see even next year even more young people and even potentially a youth track where young people come in and show what they've built. I've had a bit of experience working in AI since I was a teenager, really. I used to build my own machines, my own robots, my own computers. And I think it really helped me develop my technical skills, take out all the fear. And, um, and now I'm solving um, big global challenges using AI. What are the challenges um, that, you know, the UN has a lot of sustainable development goals? Um, what, what's the link with what you're doing? A um, couple of areas I would like to focus on. One is um, what AI means to, to, towards women and equality, gender-based violence, abuse, harassment. These words that we're just recently starting to hear more about with the Me Too movement. But taking it a step further, using AI to solve it, um, which is really interesting. Using data-driven decisioning to um, define policy making and education, which is an area where I focus a lot of my time on. How do we create, make education of today ready for the future of tomorrow? A lot of young people growing up today will be doing jobs that don't exist yet. Indeed, you, a big area in foundation like yours is trust in AI. Um, are young people, as I say, you see social media and big data kind of being used publicly. Is that a concern for young people or not? Um, we talked to them, a lot of them. We did a big research survey. And what we learned is um, one in four young people are interested in AI, in the future of AI, and the rest of them have, um, have quite skeptical views, which we are able to turn around. And the top three reasons that they give us about their skepticism towards AI Number one, they think it's not very inclusive because they feel like you've got to be a rocket scientist to be, per to be a participant in the AI movement, which I, I believe is uh, it's kind of sad and need to do something about it. Number two, they think it's not creative. It's probably just somebody sitting on a computer writing code all day, um, which again, as you've seen at this event, it's absolutely not the case. And um, also number three, that the schools and the education system is not giving them the skills they need. Uh, to our viewers, you built a robot. What are you going to build next? I got to tell you what my first robot did, uh, and that would give you some context. Uh, it solved a very important problem for the world, which was um, to fetch Snickers chocolate from the snack bar at 3 p.m. every day. <laughs> but um, more importantly, it taught me how machines learn on their own and make autonomous decisions. And now I use, I build robots to do, man to automate mundane tasks and, and make humans' lives more productive and convenient, and also solving problems that humans can't. For instance, the project we are doing, building a bot in South Africa for women facing abuse, it's really interesting when they say, they find it more convenient to talk to a machine about these very personal matters than to other humans, because machines don't judge you, humans do. Christy Sharma from the Sage Foundation, thanks very much. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to your next project. Thank you.